my name is Peter aka GP and this is the third episode of my fingerstyle tutorial series called Fingerstyle 101. In the previous lesson we learned how to pick with our fingers and also practice some basic picking patterns. This time we will take a look at rhythm picking, so grab your guitar and let's get into this. Alright, so you should know that I figured out a lot of stuff by myself as I have mentioned earlier. So this might not be the technique's proper name, but I just call it rhythm picking. It's a very essential part of playing fingerstyle. Basically this technique uh, adds a certain rhythm to your playing, almost as if you were drumming while playing the guitar. This is probably the hardest part of playing fingerstyle, at least, well, at least it was for me. Uh, but trust me, it's totally worth it. There are two types of this technique. The first one is hitting the strings and the second one is hitting the guitar. Uh, let's go through both of them. So basically what you want to do is hit the strings with your right hand. I can't tell you exactly how because it depends on what notes you are picking at the moment. Uh, and also uh, every guitarist has a unique style. So I'm going to show you uh, some examples, so you can get the basic idea of this method and then you can experiment with it until you find the most suitable way for you. So there are times when you only want to use your thumb to hit the strings, most of the times because uh, you don't have to pick any other notes at the same time. And it's like this. just move your thumb from above and hit the strings. Another way of doing this is uh, to use your thumb and index finger as well. Personally I use this most of the times. Uh, you pick the actual melody note with your index finger but also hit the string uh, with it. You hit the strings with your thumb, uh, just like in the previous method. And uh, my index finger is like this, and it springs out. This way I'll be able to pick the note and also hit the strings at the same time. Uh, and it's like this. It might take some time to master, I remember it took me a couple of weeks as well. I actually learned this technique while I was arranging Good Time by Low City. Um, so what I'm trying to say is uh, don't get discouraged if you can't master this technique in 10 minutes. It's a pretty hard one, but believe me it's a really effective uh, technique and will spice up your playing, pay, playing a lot. Just keep on practicing and I'm sure that you will uh, get it figured out. If you manage to hit the strings but fail to get a clean melody note in the meantime, don't move on. Go back and uh, try it again until you get it right. Uh, this might be annoying while practicing but this way your hand will uh, get used to being precise and that's really important. So as I've already mentioned, this technique requires you to hit the wood of the guitar with your right hand. Uh, this will result in a deeper sound, uh, like a kick drum. You need to hit the guitar with your wrist. Uh, and it goes like this. Actually, let me take this off. Uh, don't let your hand move around a lot because uh, that way you won't be able to pick the notes at the, s at the same time. Be sure to rest your elbow on the guitar so this way your arm and hand will be stable and fixed. Um, sticking to the previous four chords, here's an example for you to practice this technique. So 
let us the third lesson of Finger Style 101, I hope it was helpful. In the next episode we will learn how to play harmonics. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests for the upcoming lessons, feel free to leave a comment below, send me a private message or contact me on Facebook. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.